This is the first time I'm sharing the dais with Honorable Chief Minister after becoming the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And I'm very happy that it is an event concerning to my ministry. And the reason, this is one thing I have to say, this is the biggest and the first of its kind summit regarding drones that is happening outside the National Capital Territory of Delhi. And you would all know the reason why it is happening in Amaravati. It is because of one and only one person, that is our Chief Minister, Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. In fact, after taking charge as Minister for Civil Aviation, lot of Chief Ministers from different states have come to me. And always the idea has been, whenever I've been discussing with those Chief Ministers, they have been requesting for either more airports, more connectivity, if they want to extend it a little bit, they were talking about heliports or helicopter operations. But only one chief minister from the country, when he came to me, he talked about airports, he talked about air connectivity, and he dug a little more deeper, and he talked about drones, and that is our chief minister, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. And he asked, he asked as minister of civil aviation, what exactly are you doing in drones? Because Andhra Pradesh wants to become the drone hub of the country. We want to utilize drones in a very big way. So give us a direction so that Andhra Pradesh can move in that uh, direction. So with those words, this summit was born in Delhi. At that time, Hindi said, you organize a summit, we will be there. You organize it, Amaravati, so that the whole country looks at Amaravati for once for this event. So once we have conceptualized, the whole thought process came in and at every step, the Honorable Chief Minister has been guiding us, giving us so many suggestions. And today with the help and support of the government of Andhra Pradesh, we were able to put up such a grand show. So I thank the Honorable Chief Minister, Na Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, and the whole government of Andhra Pradesh for putting up a wonderful show and making it a huge success and inviting so many people for this. And once again, I would like to share another story. This is the story of Hyderabad. In the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, I was 12 years old and uh, 1996, actually 10 years old. And at that point of time, Hyderabad was just like any other city in the country, any other capital city. Nothing great happening in that city. But our Honorable Chief Minister at that time, who was Chandra Babu Naidigaru, he envisioned, he saw the potential of that city. And he started designing and he started visioning. He started looking into the future. And he made the Vision 2020. And you could imagine in 96, if you are thinking about Vision 20, how many, 2020, how many years forward he was looking at? 24 years forward. And that point of time, everyone was wondering, what is going on with him? Why is he looking at 24 years? The whole idea about a political leader, the whole idea about a politician is to win the next election. But Chandra Babu Naidugaru is not about elections, he is about the next generation and that is what he has proved in Hyderabad. When he was planning the Vision 2020 and he was doing the airport, the first of its kind airport, nobody was thinking about Greenfield airports, he envisioned it in Begum, uh, Shamshabad. And he was thinking about liberalizing telecom network, road network, ring roads, IT, so many medtech zones different kinds of activities and he put it in the vision 2020 and he nurtured it like a child and today after 24 years we have crossed 28 years and now you go and see Hyderabad city it is not just any other city in India it is a world-class city that which and everyone in the country is proud of so the reason I'm sharing this story is because today when we talk about drones and he talks with the same zeal that we would have seen in Hyderabad in 96. He talks about drones as a way that can change the entire social, economic and the physical fabric of this country. And the way he envisions things, being a youngster, it is very difficult for me also to match up and catch up with his ideas. All the time it keeps happening. I feel that I've got a smart idea, I've got a great idea when I go to him. He adds 100 different features to it and he takes it to a much different level. And that is the kind of inspiration he gives to all us youngsters today. And today with his guidance, with his support, with his blessings, in the NDA alliance, when we were given one cabinet ministry, 
he didn't hesitate to give it to one of the youngest members in the cabinet today. I'm just 36 years old and I'm sitting in the cabinet ministry. He being his student and he being my mentor, it is a great occasion for me and the kind of leadership, kind of a belief he has on the youngsters today, I think I am the visible proof to all the youngsters who have come to this event today. And similarly, drones, when he talks about how to improve it, how to channelize them, he has so many ideas. And one thing he wanted was he wanted to listen to the industry. He wanted all the people who are into manufacturing, R&D, innovation in this drone industry, all of them come together. Let us hear them out. Let us see what they are doing. Because he realizes that there is a huge potential in this drone network. And one potential that he has immediately realized couple of months back, in fact a month back, the city of Vijayawada has been hit by severe floods. And on one side when we had to do robust activities to provide relief, rehabilitation to the people of Vijayawada, his mind was functioning on a different level. I came to Vijayawada to assist in the relief activities. When he saw me, he asked just one question, where are the drones? Where are the drones? I want all the drones in the country to come here to Vijayawada because I see that they can help in providing relief and rehabilitation, this thing. And when we brought them, we brought a record number of earlier, there was no chief minister or no political leader using drones for disaster relief. There was just one or two drones uh, going around for surveillance or very minimal activities. But he envisioned if you properly utilize drones, you can provide food, you can provide milk, you can provide medicines. So this was a revolutionary idea for us. And we have showcased it to the entire country. And in fact, the PM Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji also was so happy to see how drones were utilized in the relief activity in Vijayawada. And that is how the vision of Chandra Babu Naidu ji works. And with that vision, we want to take drones to a much higher level by this summit in deliberating, discussing with each and every one of you and making things go forward.